going on everybody and welcome to the video. In this one, we're talking about Mullen again. We've got some pretty big things that I wanna cover, you know, some pretty big news, nothing incredibly huge, but a lot of catalysts coming up and a lot of good things that I wanna show you. You know, it's my job to give you all the information that I can. So that's what we're doing in this video. If you do enjoy this type of content though, all I ask that if you do, you would subscribe to the channel and you turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. But let's go ahead and get straight into it. So Mullen right now trades for 28.6 cents. Looking pretty solid right now over the past few days have made a big come up from 21 cents. You know, very volatile stock as we know it is common for these penny stocks to be like that. If this reverse split does come through, which was pretty necessary and pretty critical for the company, at least in my opinion, just to stay listed on the NASDAQ and different things like that. But remember, you have your own opinion. Do what you like. Comment what you think down below about the reverse split. Let's go ahead and talk about some things. So as we know, Mullen over the past week has been up incredible amounts, even over the past month, up 43%, okay? Making some pretty big catalyst, but this air, there is also some very high short interest on the stock, as you know, most likely. Let me go ahead and show you some key things. Right now, the short shares available on Mullen is about 500,000. It's got a huge float, about 450 million shares floating around, I believe. And the right now short shares available is not the lowest it's been in the past few days. It did hit zero on December 30th, but I don't think this is a huge concern. You know, it's just a number that I like to look at. And right now, what is pretty big is the cost to borrow is right now 374%. Okay, the short borrow fee rate is huge. That is massive. You know, this kind of shows that people who are lending out their shares see the demand. And it's very, very high in order for people to short the stock, which does almost give us that catalyst for a short squeeze. Furthermore, I do want to talk to you before we get into some other things about the institutional inflow to outflow. I mean, there's been a lot of buying pressure happening on Mullen recently. I mean, we can just see big companies like Bank of New York, Mellon Corp, State Street, Vanguard, BlackRock are all buying in and adding huge amounts of shares. I mean, if we go ahead and look on Fintel, we can see even more recent dates, BlackRock, Fidelity. We're seeing big funds, iShares, buying into this company, companies opening new positions, major new positions, changing their shares up in the millions, okay? This is a very big thing. I mean, a 1.2 million position from Fidelity, that's nothing small, and they're adding to it, which is a bullish sign. You know, it's one thing when an analyst covers a stock and says to buy or sell, whatever it is, but it's another thing, and it means a lot more whenever they're putting their money where their mouth is, and they are truly buying the stock like we're seeing in Fidelity. I mean, we're seeing it in BlackRock. All these big companies are adding positions. I mean, you look through this, you barely see any red. This is like the only red you see. So that is a very key thing to keep in mind. Let's go ahead and talk more about what is happening with Mullen. So looking forward to news, it says Mullen owns 70%. They actually do own 60% of this company, Bollinger. But let's see what they can do. First drive, the all-electric Bollinger B4 chassis cab takes its debut test drive around our headquarters in Oak Park, Michigan. This class four work truck is among the first test vehicles scheduled for customer pilot programs at the start of 2023. This is gonna be very big, you know, it's just more catalyst and more bullish news opening up to Mullen. And we can just see, as we saw, the purchase prices they bought, they acquired the company, you know, they got a controlling interest of 60% for 148.2 million in cash and stock. So very big stuff. I and mean, we just kind of look at these vehicles, you know, Bollinger was lost, launched in 2015. These are their vehicles, very big market. Mullen is just expanding and expanding and expanding. And one thing that I've kind of been thinking is they've been expanding at rapid rates, you know, acquisitions, mergers, deals, different things like this. And it's kind of all slowly, and I can't guarantee anything, but it seems like it's all slowly kicking in. And the longer you wait, the more chances that Mullen has to recover and to kind of let this growth sit in and act within the market. And I do believe that there is that potential. So let's go ahead and look at some more things about Mullen. Here's something that was pretty important. You know, there's a lot in this little article. You can actually read the letters a little bit bigger if I just show it you right here. But to show you, in Jan dollar five in January, this I don't like to put exact price targets on exact timelines on stocks, but this is where this guy is going towards. So saying David could have done a re reverse split last Thursday at the meeting since he holds all the cards, that is very skeptical. He opted not to. Bollinger is ready to produce military vehicles. Remember, we saw that Mullen owns 6% of this company. The IGO sample was delivered. They secured a $200 million order. They have Elms for Vans. They have the best battery technology. They also have a Dell Pack deal with the Amazon affiliate that I believe will want that order filled soon. I do believe that Amazon will want this order filled sooner than later, you know, because why wouldn't they want that? Also, the price to borrow just went up, which means brokers feel it's a bigger risk to lend out those shares. Earnings due to come out soon, which they could be very good. Hopefully, if these 
deals and these this money that has been coming in. Also, they just hired some really higher, uh, some really intelligent individuals from big companies like Ford, GM, and Tesla. Mullen is number one on Weeble currently, and also the people that sold for a loss because a lot of people did sell for those tax loss harvesting rules. You know, it's the end of the year. Some people do that. They could be potentially coming down to buyback. They've been paying down debt. Dilution is done. This is prime to take off. I mean, this guy does have a very solid point. So keep that in mind. You know, I'm just spreading the information that I'm getting. And to kind of talk about a few more things, Mullen, new year, first hired, first new hired for 2023, inventory control and material supervisor. Here we go. Just look at this guy. More than 20 years of manufacturing experience with 15% plus years in a leadership role. To show you a little bit of his kind of background, I mean, district manager, maintenance team lead, manufacturing team lead at SF Motors, manufacturing team lead at AM General. So this guy does have experience in the industry, which is a good thing. You know, adding key management to Mullen is a very important thing, especially for this company to go from point A to point B. You know, this does look very good, at least in my personal opinion. And another thing I wanted to point out, I mean, if we just kind of look at a few things, Mullen's fair value on Wall Street Zen is said to be about 43 cents compared to its current price, about 26. Right now, it's actually 28 cents. But, you know, I mean, these are just some different indicators that tell us this value, but it says it's undervalued by about 31.85%. So that is something that's kind of bullish just to look at. But I mean, I, I mean, you could look at the PE to the industry and different things like that. I mean, of course, it's not the best simply because Mullen is not yet necessarily yet profitable. But with all this growth coming in, with all these different bullish catalysts coming in, this could be pointing us towards that profitability. And once that can hit, I do believe that is going to be a massive send off for Mullen, especially just a company. You know, it's kind of like Tesla, you know, you think of it, these companies, they become new, they become not profitable. And then once they start to take profit, everything just goes well. And I'm not saying everything has gone well for Tesla. I mean, the stock has fallen incredible amounts this past year. But that's why it's important to know when to buy, when to hold, and when to sell. So thinking about things like that, I do believe there's upside potential for Mullen in the long term. But remember, I could be wrong. And the last thing I wanted to look at was the fear and greed index. Right now, we're sitting at 37 on the fear. Remember, these are pretty much where I like to buy, you know, neutrals around to hold. And these are where I like to sell. So this does almost indicate just looking at the market in the macro terms, Right now, people are scared of the market. People are going to be selling. And if that is the case, that's the time when you should be buying. Remember, you always want to buy when people are selling. It's the way that great investors make these great gains. So keep that in mind. I just wanted to give you that information. But that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you do not miss out on any of my future content. Thank you for making it to the end of this one. And I will see you at the next video.